we going? To the boat show. To the South Florida boat show. To the fall South Florida boat show on West Palm Beach. And check it out and see what all the hype is about. Let's go check it out. Time to start taking a look at some of these great boats that we have here at the West Palm Beach Fall Florida Boat Show located on the South Florida Fairgrounds. The first boat in our lineup is the Finseeker 220cc Center Console. For its 22 foot size, the layout makes it feel like you're on a much larger boat without compromising its fishability. Filled with all kinds of standard amenities, this Finseeker boat has several aerated bait wells both on the back and behind the leading post. The center well includes a bait prep area across the top with convenient areas for tools and tackle right below as well as a large drawer for storage. The upholstered transom bench seat in the back flips up to open for about three people to sit comfortably and will close flush to the transom to allow for more fishing space. Looking over at the helm, it comes fully equipped with LED lighted switches, a large 12 inch Garmin GPS touchscreen, and plenty of outlets and storage. The premium stainless steel steering wheel has a convenient steering knob and a very comfortable helm seat with flip up bolster. Even with the bolster seat flipped down, this particular boat has a lot of belly space to be accommodating for people of all sizes. The hard top T-top is painted in the same color as the outside hull of the boat and includes six chrome rocket launchers up at the top. It also has a beautiful white powder coated finish and a nice full size acrylic windshield. The bow has some removable cushions to keep them clean while being stored and a really nice table attachment for a picnic on the water. Finn Seeger did a really great job of creating not just a great fishing boat, but also a family friendly boat for any time out on the water. Looking over the next option is the 2019 Polar 195 Center Console 
When looking at each of these vessels side by side, the size comparison is a big difference and so is the depth of the V. Let's take a look inside. Right away, you can see the difference in the build. Instead of bench seating, you have two fixed upholstered seats on either side of the transom. One houses the aerated bait well, and the other is simply made for storage. The leaning posts have four rocket launchers and another four on the T-top. The helm on this boat is fairly simple with standard analog gauges, stainless steering wheel, and ample space to install up to a 9 inch GPS unit. The leaning post bench is large enough for two people. The marine grade vinyl is actually pretty nice and well stitched. There's plenty of cooler space below that can be tied down with straps to avoid moving around while underway. The partial windscreen is made of smoky acrylic, which is great for blocking out those afternoon sun rays while navigating home. The top of the console has a lot of great flat top space to do any kind of additional electronics or customized storage. Forward, you have another double upholstered seat that opens to reveal an aerated bait well and it has a decent sized deck for casting. The inside of the storage areas are not as nicely finished as some of the other boats we've seen so far. They still provide functionality though and plenty of room to stow away your gear. On the front of the bow you have a dedicated area to store your anchor and your anchor lines and it's very easily locked with these flipped latches. The center console also has toe kick recessed areas all the way around it and plenty of grab bars on the T-top. It also has three additional rod holders on either side of the console as well as underneath the gunnels. Up next was our show favorite, the 2019 Rabalo R242. This exceptional craft has lots of attention to detail and comfort for the whole family. Set at 24 feet in length, this boat has all of the included standard amenities any boater would love. On the aft of the boat, we have a long and generously padded foldable bench seat. The backrest folds up to allow the bench seat to fold down and create a seamless surface to allow for added fishing space. Behind the seat is a deep aerated bait well with an acrylic top and storage compartment for wet storage next to the deck door leading you out to the dive platform. There are padded combing bolsters running all around the gunnels of the boat as well as recessed stainless grab handles for added safety. Back over at the transom bench we can see how the backrest flips up to allow the seat to be tucked in under it to form a flush surface.
Pulling the lever below the seat reveals an easy access area to get to the engine components and to the boat's wiring. The leaning post seat offers a dual bench with individual flip-up bolsters, making it comfortable for both the captain and a guest. Again, this boat has plenty of room between the leaning post and the steering column. At the helm, you have a glossy black panel that creates a seamless look when flush mounting electronics. You can add up to a 16-inch display or two 8-inch displays with room to spare. LED lighted switches, a traditional compass, as well as cup holders, and additional storage above and below the helm are also included. The standard hard top comes painted to match the hull of the boat and has an electronics box with tension hinges to keep the door from closing on you while working on your gear. The bow area includes beautifully upholstered, easily removable cushions and makes for a great lounge area when fishing is not the order of the day. Padded backrests all around the bow also makes for a comfortable addition to this space. Under the seats, you have plenty of additional storage, including a live aerated bait well that can double as a fish box or a cooler. Included on this boat, we also have a large head compartment with additional storage. The next boat we were swooning over is the 2019 Sailfish 242cc. Right away we can see that Sailfish really paid very close attention to what anglers and pleasure boaters need. A convenient tow pole has been installed on the transom for those that want to enjoy water sports. An acrylic top air rated live well sits behind the transom bench. The helm seating is a bench seat big enough for two and has plenty of convenient storage spaces below and to either side of the bench. Armrests and individual seat bolsters come standard on this vessel as well as plenty of rod storage on the gunnels and alongside of the center console. At the helm, there's a large stainless steering wheel, LED lighted switches, and enough room for a flush mounted 16 inch display. What we loved about this boat was the additional sealed and watertight storage area on the top of the console inside of the tempered glass windshield. On the port side of the console is the door to the deep and spacious head area that comes equipped with lighting and ventilation and has built-in storage spaces and pockets throughout. The bow seats include a front console seat over additional storage and ample bow seating with removable and adjustable backrests for those wanting to lounge and take in the sun. Under the bow seats you have plenty of storage that can be used for fish boxes, coolers, or dry areas.
Under the bow you have a removable cushion to reveal a casting deck. This model also comes with a bow filler cushion to create a large sun deck area if you're not planning on going fishing. The anchor locker is flush with the top of the bow and conveniently opens to the side for easy retrieval and storage. When replacing the removable cushions, strong snaps keep them in place even in the roughest conditions. If you've noticed the upholstery on this boat like I have, you will see that this one has been outfitted with a beautiful natural two-toned look with durable monofilament stitching. Last but not least is the Bayliner Element F21. This particular model is a leftover 2018 that they were selling at an amazing price for all of the amenities that this boat has. Right away we notice that this is more of a bay boat with a shallower V at the bow. This boat would be great to take down to the Keys for a day of fishing the flats, but probably wouldn't be as suitable for us for rougher waters on the reef. As we climb inside, we see lots and lots of fishable space. The back jump seats fold down flush to the deck and house ample storage for batteries and supplies alike. A large air-rated live well sits in the center of the jump seats. We like the fact that it's located in the middle of the boat so it's more stable while it's underway. Something we have been seeing become more prominent on newer boats is the addition of a flip down deck that surrounds the engine to create an easy pass through from one side of the platform to the other. The leaning post was pretty standard with an adjustable backrest to have seating on both sides. And under the seating pads, you have a large 52 quart removable cooler. The design of this boat has a slimmer center console that's made to have more space around it for easier fishing. This element comes with a smoky acrylic partial windshield, traditional compass and gauges, a stainless steering wheel, and simple switches for your engine and electronics. A large full-size bimini top with boot comes standard with this model and can be upgraded to a custom T-top. Due to the conservative size of the helm, flush mounting electronics isn't possible, but there is a mounting swivel that can be used for up to a 9-inch unit. The boat has lots of storage for your rods on either side of the console as well as in the gunnels. At the bow of the boat, you have a single upholstered seat on the forward of the console with more storage space below it. The deck on this boat is a fairly good size, with an easy step up to come up to the top of the bow. It has ample storage space and can be customized with upholstered deck cushions to make it more family friendly. The multiple battery connections at the front are perfect for added electronics.
We had a great time looking for our new boat at the Fall Florida Boat Show and can't wait till the next one to show off the new 2020 lineup. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to get notifications on our upcoming videos. Also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for updates on giveaways and lots of freebies.